Kamaljit, our numbers are showing the Congress at 36, that's just one above or two above the halfway mark. The BJP at 29. Does the Congress have a backup plan B or are they relying on reaching 35 and then going and staking claim right away? What is, I mean, are they worried that this 36 could go to 34 and then it's, you know, once again all, all options are open? So what is that, where is the Congress's confidence coming from? Well, uh, they believe the numbers may be fluctuating, uh, but they're giving us a number of 42, 43. Uh, that may not be the case, uh, but the number of independents have actually come down. Now, what uh, Congress now needs to do okay. is to keep its flock together. One, because they haven't announced the CM phase. Who's going to be the top leader there? Uh, is it going to be Sukhinder Sukhu? But many believe that he's not a man who's actually gone out beyond six constituencies, may not be the right uh, candidate. Uh, Makesh Agniyahotri, another challenger. But many okay. believe Nitin it is... Patel is now joining us. Kamal Ji, we are coming back to you in a moment. We are going across family. live to Mehsana. The ex-Deputy Chief Minister of Gujarat uh, is uh, going to be with us in just a moment. But till then, Kamal Ji, go on. Between Agnihotri and Sukhvinder Sukhu, who do you think is more likely? Or will they find a third Khiladi so that these two can be kept at bay? Uh, well, the laddus being distributed, uh, this is a sure sign of victory. Uh, but yes, uh, if we can try and get you a sense of what's really happening here, uh, it is about the top leadership. And we spoke early this morning to Pratabha Singh. Uh, she kept saying uh, that uh, this is not the time to decide. It is going to be, uh, let's see, a lot of jostling happening here. We'll try and get you a word. Uh, with uh, Vikram Aditya, he is obviously surrounded. Uh, this is a moment of joy and elation for the party. Uh, but we also asked that question whether Vikram Aditya is a man who could actually be the face of Congress party in Himachal Pradesh. Uh, and uh, Pratibha quickly retorted uh, that he is too young. And then we spoke to Vikram Aditya and he said, before I finally officially speak, uh, this is not my time right now. So, yes. Uh, they are keeping in mind what the high command really thinks and this is a time they would want to avoid any sort of controversy. But yes, the Congress is looking for problem because yes, uh, there is an issue because Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu has already declared himself as the CM phase. He was already looking at appointments, perhaps too early. Uh, but how to keep the flock together is something uh, they would consider. Uh, if the numbers are uh, pegged at 42, 43 as what they are suggesting, uh, then they don't have to really bother, uh, uh, worry about taking because remember the number of independents now really sharply coming down and the rebels whether it's the Congress or the BJP uh, they are obviously not forming a position where they can help BJP uh, but again the laddus will just try and track down how it is being distributed out here uh, so a moment of joy again we'll try and get back to the crowd uh, perhaps in some time uh, we will have that interview with Vikram Aditya uh, who's firmly here surrounded by lots of media person and yes a uh, lot of chair going on it's not like the Punjab scene you know where there's a dhol nagara we kept asking them what really happens uh, but you can see the Himachali topis and the laddus being devoured out here uh, kis se celebrate uh, we are very happy uh, because our leader uh, Shri Vikramaditya Singh is winning from Shimla Gramin and uh, it is proud moment for us that Holy Lodge अपना जो रुतबा बनाए हुए हैं आज भी कायम है। ये सीएम फेस किसका होना चाहिए? ऐसे सुकुंदर सुंग सुकु है, मुकेश अग्नि होत्री है। किसको आप देखना चाहेंगे? मैम हम चाहते हैं कि रानी प्रतिभा सिंह जी हिमाचल प्रदेश को लीड करें क्योंकि ये प्रबोध हिमाचल प्रदेश की जनता जिन्होंने कांग्रेस पार्टी में अपना विश्वास जताया है और अभी रुझान हमारी तरफ है मैं ये नहीं कहूंगा कि अभी हम पूरी तरीके से जीत चुके हैं मगर जैसे ही हमारा बिल्कुल क्लियर हो जाएगा उसके बाद हम प्रदेश की जनता का फिर से बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद करेंगे और जो हमारे आगामी हमारा टास्क फोर्स है जो हमने दस वादे प्रदेश की जनता ने किए हैं उनको पूरा करने के लिए हम वचनबद्ध है जिनको हम पूरा करें क्योंकि बीजेपी नजदीक दिख रही है क्या डर है किसी प्रकार का आप लोगों का को कि विधायक तोड़े जा सकते हैं भूपेश बघेल हुडा साहब वगैरह को भेजा जा रहा है हमारे बहुत श्रेष्ठ अनुभवी नेता यहाँ पर उपस्थित है कोई भी ना बिकेगा ना कोई हटेगा हमारी सरकार बनेगी पूर्ण बहुमत के साथ बनेगी और पूरे पांच साल हिमाचल प्रदेश में कांग्रेस पार्टी की सरकार चलेगी वीरभद्र सिंह विकास मॉडल के ऊपर सरकार चलेगी मैं कह सकता हूं